Hi everybody. It's been really, really busy here. Again, I don't have any art for you. I know it seems to be like the same old song and dance every week, but I've been working on my Fortuna the Cat website and I am not a website person. I'm not like crazy web savvy with, with the building of the website. So it's just been, you know, a whole week. I don't even know if I like the design. I'm working on it, but that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm getting to the point now where I'm just like fed up with all the background stuff that I've been doing and I just need to paint something because I'm just I'm over it. My helpers are helping. Thank goodness. So that's kind of taking a little bit of the strain, but I still have to train them. So right now it's kind of helping, but it'll totally help once I can kind of let them go and they can just do their thing and it'll be great. But we just haven't gotten to that point yet. They've only helped, like, they went to orientation and that was it. So, <sighs> hopefully next week I have art. I know, I, I feel, like, ridiculous even saying it to you at this point in time. Um, I checked and counted, and actually I have 18 pieces from my last Green Man Festival, so that's not too bad. You guys have 18 new things to pick from, so that's not awful, but it's not great. And I really just want to get back at it but I, I've been working on some things but it just hasn't been organic and I feel like I've been forcing myself and it kind of shows in my artwork um so I'm working on it I really am <laughs> I just feel crappy uh about it but I did do a makeup haul because I used up my 10 products um so I'm just gonna talk about that this week and then hopefully there's art <laughs> So here we are again. Uh, this morning, a whim, I tried this little sample, and I've had it for a while. It's the Makeup Forever HD Primer. And I don't know what made me pick it up this morning and, and put it on my face. I guess a friend of mine uh, and I were talking about cosmetics on Friday, and we were talking about primers and fixers and shellac and all the crap that people put on their face nowadays. And anyway, I've had this for a while, and I just wanted to try it. And I really liked it. Like, it made the application of my makeup so much easier. It just kind of, like, slid over my face. And it looked really good. And it looks really good on camera. Um, which is important because I talked to y'all on camera. So, uh, we had to run errands in Annapolis anyway. And my husband really wanted to see the iPad. Uh, so there was a Sephora there. And I bought, like, the big bottle of the HD primer. I love this. I got just, like, the uncolored, like, clear one. But I use so much less foundation and it just goes on so much nicer and I use a brush and it's great. Um, so I'm really, really down with that. Um, as you guys know, I've been looking for a new foundation because prescriptives went under and I just need to let it go and move on. I mean, I'm going to use my last bottle up, but I need something to replace it. So um, I got for just kind of every day and when my skin kind of clears up a little bit, I got the Laura Mercier. Um, tinted moisturizer. Also, my skin was kind of getting dry from the proactive, which I'm not sure if it's working at. Like, sometimes I think it is, and sometimes I think it isn't. Um, so I am just gonna, like, stick it out and see what happens, uh, and I'll keep you posted with that. But anyway, my skin was dry, and this has SPF 20, and it's great for just kind of, like, every day, because I work from home, and I don't need to get all dolled up crazy, so, like, the UPS man can think I'm sexy, so... Um, tinted moisturizer and then I used the, the MAC Super Spackle and just the tinted moisturizer and super. I love it and I love this moisturizer so and it's oil free so it's not gonna break my face out because that's kind of counterproductive. Um, on my quest for the perfect foundation I tried the MAC Select SPF 15 and I hate it. Uh, I don't like the texture. They're palest pale isn't white enough for me and it's yellow. All of their bases are yellow and it's awful and I don't like it. And it was so discouraging because I wanted to love like and just go to one counter and get everything but it didn't work. I tried Clinique. I tried Laura Mercier. I tried NARS. I tried like just in the store. I didn't buy them all. Um, none of them were the right color. If it was white enough it was too yellow. Apparently all the super, super white girls have yellow undertones in America, and uh, that's just really not true. I have, like, a, a pink undertone. I finally tried every Makeup Forever foundation, and I found one. Mine's 110. This is the high-def foundation. 
And I just tried it and I really like it and it actually matched my skin tone and at this point I was just like whatever, whatever works. <laughs> whatever matches. I mean, because if not, it looks like I'm wearing like a yellow mask. It looks like sallow, like I have jaundice, and nobody wants to pay money to look like they have jaundice. It's just whatever. The makeup companies need to wake up because there are a lot of pale artsy girls who have pink undertones that need foundation. I don't see the light of day. I live in a little cave, and I burn. I mean, I'm a redhead with pale skin so I, I burn up and I stay out of the sun and it's not good for you and I don't tan and I don't bronze because I look dirty if I put bronzer on and I don't spray tan. I'm just white. I know it. I've accepted it. And finally I found a foundation that is is down with me so hopefully it won't break me out or anything. It's oil free um, so I'm having high hopes for it. I hope so. It was kind of expensive so I'm hoping. Anyway I also got some of the MAC Art Supplies. I got two of the lip stain markers, and they're really cool. I like them a lot. Um, they look like markers, which, you know, I'm a sucker for art supplies, so they're really cool. They smell like vanilla, and you can use them as a lip liner and a lip stain, which I really, really like. And I got a red, and I got like a hot pink, which is cool because I have the Viva Glam Cindy, which is red. And then I have the petals and peacocks, which is hot pink, so I get to use that with stuff I already have. But anyway, I really like the lip stains, even though I find them drying. And what I do to kind of counterbalance that, like before and after I'm done using it, I use the um, Lush Cosmetics Sweet Lips Sugar Scrub, which it's just like flavored, flavored sugar in a pot. My friend uh, from the UK actually sent this to me. Because uh, you can't get it in the United States. I have the cocoa and I love it. And I use it every single day, twice a day. And when I use it up, I will probably repurchase it or beg them to repurchase it. Uh, it comes in three flavors. I have the, the cocoa, which is awesome. Um, I also got a grease paint stick. I got the Zinc Zone grease paint stick. And it's like this. It's kind of like a big fat crayon for your eye. And I guess you can use it as a shadow or like a thick eyeliner if you want to be like a rock star. And I like it, and I think it's the only one I like in the collection, because uh, every it's all black based, and some of them have like a color to it, but barely, I'm not a fan. But I like this one. And I also got two of the eyeliners, the Pearl Glide, and they have like a little shimmer in them. And these I really, really like. I got the green, which I'm wearing now, which you can probably barely tell, but it's an undercurrent, which is sold out online right now, uh, but they still have them at some of the matte counters. And I have Industrial, which is the blue. And I really, really like these, and I like, like, shimmery pearl liners. So these were really cool. I have some Urban Decay stuff coming because they're having a 30% off sale right now. And that was, like, my cutoff. I'm, I'm, like, done. I can't buy any more makeup. But I actually won this. Um, I got the Stardust in Griffith. The Stardust eyeshadow, you know, the ones that pop up. I have a Bobbi Dazzle, but I won this from Urban Decay in a contest, and they sent it to me free. So disclaimer, this was free, and this was a gift. When I say it was a gift, it wasn't a gift. Um, it was actually a present from a friend of mine. But anyway, I got the, the Stardust, and I like the Stardust shadows, but the one thing I don't like, and kind of like, I love this at first, that when you squeeze it, it pops open. And that's all well and good until it happens in your purse because it's jostling around and then this is open and it's going like this and then your makeup gets all crumbled up and in your purse. Because that's what happened to my Bobby Dazzle and it's it was like a mess and I'm really sad because it looks kind of like it's been chewed on now. So I don't know if they need to improve that or not, but this is not a travel friendly eyeshadow. It, it does, it pops open in your purse if something hits it. So... And it crumbles and then you waste some, but I like the consistency of these. I wish they'd do like a palette um, so that you get like a couple colors and then it would just be like a flat thing that didn't pop open. So I'm kind of hoping that that happens. Um, like I said, I have some more things of theirs that I'm going to try. I got the Summer of Love nail polish set and I got their D Slick like face setting thing. I think that might be it. So, there's my rant for this week, guys. I hope you liked it. I will talk to you again next week. Bye.